yeah, yeah, I know. Storm, zombies, everything really, really creepy. Okay, so for now, what can we just drop? Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna drop this. I'm thinking we're gonna drop this. That should be enough. I haven't done, you know, a lot of progress. So for now, I will maintain this like that. I mean, not save. Was this the thing? No. No, where where was the the, the uh there was a lighter? It was over here, I guess. Come on, Jill. There. No no. Okay. So through here. Okay, where was the lighter? is to my right right here okay so first of all I'm gonna take the light ah, botany use of medicinal herbs so well known the fact that there exist many plants that are created with medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are native to the Orkline Mountains and briefly outline each of their medicinal qualities. Each herb has a distinct color and a distinct medicinal quality. Green herb recovers physical strength. Blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect, effects by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs results in a, magnificent, a magnified effect. We will outline the effects of red herbs when mixed with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own, for true knowledge is only acquired through experience. Hmm. Okay, thank you. I'm going to take this lighter now. Yes, I will take the lighter. And let me see. Examine. Words are carved on it. Don't play with fire. Love, Jessica. Okay, good. Just don't play with fire. Don't play with fire. Okay, and we exit through here. It's just, it's a loop, you know? It's a loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, we go to this. And we get a light. The fireplace. There. Okay, so use this. It is now lit. And you see this? Lines carving to re relief glow red in the intense heat. So now we use this. There, you see? There's a map of the mansion's second floor. Take it? Yes. And now we get the map of the mansion's second floor. Nice. You got the map of the mansion and we, you know, like freed a couple of inventory spaces. Combined with this, for instance, no. Okay. You don't want to combine it? No need to combine it. There's something else in this room. Is this like a book? I see, I see a lot of books. Oh, these things, obviously. Will you take the green herb? Yes. Will you take the red herb? Yes. And now, 
I will do this. I'm gonna take the, uh, the green herb and the red herb and combine it. No, not use it. I almost goofed it up. Now we got mixed herbs, you see? This one's very potent. Examine. Mixture of a, a green and red herbs. This does not look really red, if you ask me. Come on, take the, take the herb lady. Yes, I will take the green herb. Okay, so everything search here. And there's this uses helmet. Okay, the helmet key. Good. We're starting to get ahead, you know. So, we are here. This one is just in one direction, you see. And there is something still here that we need to go and get. Okay. We will try and go and get that. Be careful because sometimes zombies appear. Monsters. The Umbrella Corporation was not very thorough when maintaining these experiments, if you ask me. That's why they are all dead. Okay, this one is locked. Locked. Armor. Okay, this is like the armor area, you know? And there is nothing else on this corridor. Armor, yes. All of these require the armor key. Oh, this required the sword. Okay, okay. I, I think this that might be like the final use of the sword key. So first... First we go here and we get the last thing that's in this room. That's a... Um, I don't know, I've never, I never seen what it is because I have the room in the inventory. This thing over here. Will you take the handgun magazine? Don't mind if I do. Not this thing. You can't carry any more items. I, can, I still cannot ascertain what it, that is. Okay. Chessboard card from Ivory. Game appears to have ended in checkmate. Yes. Okay, well, I guess we gotta... Do a little bit of loop-de-loop -loop because of the limited inventory space. Jill, you really need to get like a backpack lady. Let's go down. Yeah, you see? The safe room at the bottom of the stairs. I was not crazy. I was not remembering the Recon City police station. It was just the wrong stairs. Okay, so, for now, I'm going to go ahead and take this, put it there, and I'm going to take that, put it there, I'm going to take this, put it there. Because we have limited inventory space. We cannot be carrying around everything all the time. Okay. And after we open the door to the main hall and possibly use completely the, the sword key, and get what's in the in the room with the chessboard, then we will save again. Nice. Okay, Jill, don't run around like a headless chicken, please. Okay, I use the sword key. 
There might still be more uses for the sword key, apparently. Oh! Barry. Hey! Jill. Not a zombie. Any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Nope. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. Alright then, let's split up again. Hey, Excellent hold on a plan. sec. Look what I've found. What? What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Thank Hopefully you. you won't have to use it. You got the acid shells. You see? What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Yeah, ciao. You traitorous bastard. Are you supposed to be like looking in the in the uh, the, the dining room, you jackass? Well, luckily we had the inventory space. And the existence of the acid shells Examine. Shells for the grenade launcher. They are filled with sulfuric acid. This implies the existence of a grenade launcher. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, there's a thing there and a thing there. Let's just try to check. Locked armor. Now this is armor key. Can make anything out of the darkness and the fog and the despair and the zombies. Lock from the other side. This one is open, but maybe there's something here. Let's see. This one. Okay. Oh, but we've been here. Okay, I'm gonna try this one first before we investigate this area. At least we're getting like the shortcuts, you see? Yeah, the mansion from Resident Evil 1. You see? There's no further use for this key. Discard? Yes. Okay, so we discarded that because there was no further use and this is the new area we unlocked. And now we got another inventory space available. Okay, so... We get stairs there. And that. Everything appears to be... I use the lockpick. Green herbs growing here. It's only enough for a few uses. Use them? No. Interesting. We got we gotta remember that outside here we got like a free stained glass window. Pattern in the center resembles a witch. It resembles, like I said, like a it's a plant. You gotta remember that we have free health here. I unlocked it. Okay, now we have easy access to this area. What was the purpose of this area? It has to be a purpose, you know? Like, there's like, maybe you get look at the, at the woods. Okay, good. So, let's go back to where the chessboard is, and then we can save. Which I believe is over here.
Look at this thumbnail right there. You see? Thumbnail. Nice. Okay, where's the chessboard? It's like on the other end. Over here. There we go. So, this thing. What is this? It's a dog whistle. Crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. I've seen this. Well, I had this idea. I figured if it comes somehow it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious cannon that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. He ought to come running at the sound of a, a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near the damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only pencil I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of this as well. Remember that certain item you always wanted to get hold of? Yes. Why are we just not mentioning the item? No, just talk in general. Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out for both of us. John Tolman. You see? Sir Spencer, the guy who we are fine... The guy who, you know, founded Umbrella Corporation. And this is done. Okay. Okay, before we try that, I'm definitely going to go and save. Definitely. Just gotta go over here. The creepy music is back, you know. It was silent for a while, but now it's back. Here. And I know people are going to say, well, you didn't use any of the thumbnails you say were thumbnail material, you jackass. And I will, to the, today, I will reply, shut up. Okay, I'm just gonna put this over here. And I guess that's good. A lot of good stuff here, you know. Fuel canteen, light. But I, I definitely need more inventory space. Okay, so let's just save. Old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon? Yes. Bad. It has been saved. magic boxes this magic boxes uses a uh, capsule corporation technology but I have the kerosene still remains yes I know I think you use the kerosene to burn the zombies you know but I haven't had a chance to try it right now okay let's go there It is important to maintain a certain sense of direction of where you are with this. So you see, we go here and then there. Yeah, the creepy music. Now we go near the window and we will be able to get the dog to come I'm gonna shoot that dog because it is a bad zombie dog okay here 
Okay, let's try this. You blew the dot whistle. Jesus! Come over here, bro! Oh crap! There's more of them! One down. Come on, defensive item! Can you use a defensive item? No? <laughs> she just died. She straight up died. You are dead. Okay, sorry. Sorry. My first death. Interesting. Okay, load game. This one. It was wise to load. In the darkness lies your fear. Well, they appreciate the like the the, the the thing, you know. In the darkness lies your fear. About a half of the I don't need the, the kerosene thing. Am I good, right? Yeah, we get the... Oh, no, I have the, the ribbon. Okay. So... Just put this over here. Come on. There. Nice. We try again. Okay, Jill, this time we're gonna we're gonna use it, you know? You know you know what we're going to use it. Yes, we're gonna use it. In fact, we will equip it right now. I don't want to die by dog. Just open this. And let's get ready to rock. Now we know the direction where the dogs come from. And we know there's at least two dogs coming. We were delicious and moist the last time. Okay. So you see? We do this. Use it. Get over here. There you go. There you go. I did not do that. I did not mean to use it twice, you know? I think my mouse, like... I don't know. Okay. Will you take the color? Yes. Is there anything else here? Nothing. We can go in this direction. Examine. Like over here, there's a thing. There's a switch. Will you press it? Yes, of course. And there's a thing. Coin was hidden inside the collar. Coin. Oh, look at this. Change into the shape of a key. Imitation of a key. And I know where we can use this 
I know where we can use this. It lacks the rigidity to be used as one. But if you remember, we know where to use it. So. We know. You probably don't need this dog whistle anymore. Discard it? Yes. I was actually going to, you know, thinking about why it did not tell me to discard the, the thing. If you remember, when we started exploring this... Okay, first of all, we're just gonna quickly go outside and get the ammo that's on the, on the graveyard. For the shotgun, because for some reason my mouse decided to shoot twice. Which is the bullcrap. So at no point I shot twice. There was ammo like over here. No, here. See? This one. Yes, I will take the shotgun shells. And also I will go ahead and I will combine the shotgun shells. Good. No wolves, no lichens, those belong in Resident Evil Village. Which is like, I don't know, 20 something years after this one, you know? Okay, we're here. So quickly, I'm just gonna go back here and do the inventory thing. And then we're gonna go back at the beginning because remember there was like a trap area where there was like a death mechanism and that's because you needed this imitation of a key in order to get the real key otherwise you get squished okay let's go down let's go there do the inventory management I need to, you know, like find another one of these safe rooms like, soon. I think there's one more here in the mansion. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here. Okay, we're good. And I don't wanna go back through those doors that look like they're going to break uh, we're here this is closed that goes over there um, maybe we could try this we need to get here you know let me see the second floor we're gonna go over here we go up, we go through the third floor. This is the area where we know there's like a thing that goes over here and kills you. So, oh, actually this connects here. So yeah, the fastest route to this is going up. And notice that it connected. Am I going in the right direction? Yes. Okay, good, good. Well, at least that traitorous jackass Barry has popped up a couple of times, you know, to save me from becoming a Jill sandwich and from, you know, it gave me like the, 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 the acid things for when I get the grenade launcher. I really need more inventory space. Brutal inventory management at this point. Yeah, we go over here. The atom bomb is now just blowing at first. With every dawn, I'm feeling stronger still. But despite the slow decay, it never goes away. The slow hypnotic, asymptotic slide.
toward letting go.